What up, T-Squad? It's me, Keisha, and I'm here with this week's All T All Shade, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, Season 11, Episode 23 Review. Okay, you guys, so the episode kicks off with Carly and Amy at rehearsals. They have some shows coming up, and the BAM visits them. But all I can really focus on is Carly's BBL. It, it, is, it is a sight to see. It looked like she got two throw pillows stuffed in some leggings. Like, it don't match her legs. It bulge out on the side like two bumpers. It, like, you've been making money now for 11 seasons. Please go and get your butt redone. Please. Because, you know, Carly had her butt done early on when, you know, it was illegal still. So, hers looked like she got it in somebody's hotel room for like $600, got some injection. It don't look right. Carly, please. Like we told you to stop with the lips, get your butt redone, please. So, uh, Carly says that she's now seeing what Erica Banks was saying about Grady. Cause I don't even know that man name, nor do I care to name, uh, know his name. He looks like a Grady to me. So that's what his name will be. Um, because he started to switch up on her all of a sudden. So now she's starting to look at him sideways. I was like, you should have been looking at him sideways anyway. He looked like he drink Coke 45s just for the hell of it. Girl, get, mm. Anywho, so Yandy is going to Kentucky to register votes for uh, the upcoming elections and stuff with some of the girls from the show. And, you know, she's, telling Mandeces or whatever and he's basically trying to trying to tell her that you know moving forward you need to start letting me know about things that you're thinking about doing instead of making um decisions without me concerning you know the surrogacy and all of this type of stuff um then we go to Jock and Kendra heading to his birthday party you know things are still kind of tense between them after what happened at his bowling alley birthday and she says that she needs him to be the liaison between her and the new baby mama, Gloria. And I was like, see, this is why I say Kendra is book smart and life dumb, because that's exactly what he was trying to do at the bowling alley. He was telling you what the girl was saying and how she wants to meet you. He wasn't starting no mess. You took it to the left. Talking about some she would never come in your house and you would never meet her. And I'm doing this and you better be glad. You the one took it to the next level because you're emotionally immature. And you have not forgiven him for having this baby. Even though you say y'all was on a break, which is a lie. Because if y'all was really on a break, you wouldn't be feeling some type of way. And... I don't understand why y'all got married. Y'all should never have gotten married. This relationship is past the expiration date. It is expired. It is, it is clumped up. Okay. It is spoiled. All right. It looked like cottage cheese. Now y'all milk, y'all need to pour it out. Okay. Put it down the drain. This relationship is a no ma'am, a no bueno Nothing about this relationship is positive. It's too much that has been said and done for y'all to have even taken it to this level. Y'all just need to leave each other alone, honestly. But they make up and go kick it for his birthday. Mama D visits uh, Scrappy at his new crib and tells him what happened at her last launch between um, Erica and Diamond and how Diamond was asking her is there any overlap because he been munching on her kitty cat and that ain't something that she would have liked to hear should no mama hear that and I was like exactly but you the one that want to be buddy buddy with these girls and act like you they friend so then that's why they're comfortable with talking like that around you so um, Scrappy says that he left Diamond alone because she was going on live posts and stuff I guess basically telling a business or whatever you know they started going back and forth online here recently. Now she's engaged to somebody. It's it's a mess. It's all over the place. I can't keep up, child. Um, Mama D tells him about the BAM court papers and how she said she didn't care if she was unalive. And he was looking at her like, now, wait a minute. Now, that was taking it too far. Way too far. 
she says that she wants to make peace with the BAM. Oh, and I'm like, oh, so now you want to make peace because she has brought the courts into it and she's trying to take your grandparents' rights away, even though Scrappy was like, no, we're not doing that. Um, but your mom is, she is reckless. I still don't think that the kids should not be able to be around her. Um, I know a lot of you in the comment section were saying I wouldn't have her around my kids if, you know, she's disrespecting me in that way. And that's y'all opinion. I get it. Um, I get it. I get it. But that would just have to be a last, last, last result for me. You know what I'm saying? To involve the judicial system or whatever. Um, but yeah, Mama D, you're not making this any easier on yourself or your grandchildren. You're really not. And so it's getting to the point where I can't really blame Baby for the decisions that she's making. Um, so in Kentucky, can you yeah, candy? Yandy tells Tamika Mallory that she wants to run for city councilman, councilwoman. And she kind of look at her like, mm, okay, like good luck with that Chuck like that's kind of the the energy she was given or whatever I ain't know if she was looking at her like girl bye or what or she was just looking at her like girl that's a lot that you're taking on I didn't really know so Carly we find out went through Grady's cell phone and found a bunch of text messages between him and other women so she confronts it on him after the fact that she done went and got this man something to eat he would have opened that 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 box of plate and it would have been dog food up in there because ain't no girl you feeding this man after what is wrong with y'all like Carly you too old to be this dumb so Grady's sitting up there eating neck bones and rice or whatever he was eating and talking about some yeah I'm still hollering at girls I want to see I want to uh see you I don't know if you and I are gonna work out I didn't lie I'm a man all men make mistakes Child, as soon as somebody get to talking that crap, you know they full of ish. So Carly was like, you lied to me. Even Erica told me I should have never had your back. And he's on say, and this shows who he is right here in this statement. He responds with, you let the help play with my name? That's crazy. The help? Like, who do you think you are? Like, literally, you look like a drunk off the street. Like, you're not handsome. The only reason why women probably even pay you any amount of attention is because you were a record label owner and because you got a little bit of money. Other than that, ain't nobody checking for you, Lurch. Looking like Daryl Strawberry. Boy, get out of here. Get out of here. You ugly is that one thing. Like, this is why you can't date ugly men because they really start to think that they like that dude. Like, you look roach like you need to be happy I'm even talking to you breathing the same air as you ew you can't give no ugly man no self-esteem this is what happens so um she tried to leave and he trying to stop her and she eventually leaves and he laughing and stuff acting like you know oh ha, 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 ha. like he could care less and really honestly he don't care for real for real because if he did he wouldn't be doing what he doing so Mama D is having her birthday party. It's a royal theme. She got all of her children and grandbabies there on stage with her. Um, Erica and Diamond are both there, as well as Jock, they cousin. Um, Erica, I mean, I'm sorry. So on stage, Mama D gives a speech and she says that, you know, that she wants to extend an olive branch to the BAM. She don't want no ill will between them and all everything. Mind you, the grandbabies was there. And so Erica's in the audience and she says to Jock that she's happy because, you know, she don't want it to be no bad blood between them either. And she wants them to get along, you know, at least for the kid's sake. So Diamond comes over to the table and speaks and Eric kisses her. And I was like, okay, that's cute. But y'all don't like each other. And every time y'all not around each other, y'all talk cash money ish around each other about each other but then when y'all in each other's face it's all fake and hey girl how you doing like uh, what is the point y'all don't like each other and you will never like each other like it's so weird to me so she sits down right next to erica 
And um, it was just a weird moment. It really honestly was. Because I was just like, what, what, is, what, is, what is happening here? Right now, present time, uh, Erica and Scrappy are still kicking it one-on-one. They are in Aruba on vacation together. So you like it. I love it. I feel like Erica is coming from a place of, I think that she still loves and cares for Scrappy. I think that she is into Scrappy again. I think she has her guard up to an extent, but I think she's at a point where she knows Scrappy and knows how he moves. So she know he going to be out here messing with other women and she's probably okay with that. She probably messed with other men. And I think that she's going to use him for whatever she can get out of him. So you like it. I love it, child. I guess. Um, after that, Yandy makes the announcement that she's running for office without telling Mandeces. And once again, he like, girl, how are you making all of these life changing um, decisions without running it by me? Like, what is going on here? Do you have a husband or not? Are you in a relationship by yourself? Like, come on, Yandy, tighten up. So Amy and Mozzie do Young Jock's radio show. And she's starting to see some of Mozzie's old tricks perk back up. She was like, you know, business-wise, he's doing good. But the smoking all day and all of that stuff. And then she said something big had just happened in their relationship, but she wasn't ready to talk about it on air. So after they do the show, they go outside the 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 building and it's Jock, her, and Mozzie. And she tells Jock how Mozzie recently found out that he got a little girl from his past. A little girl like six years old. Mind you, they've been together for six, seven years. So he either had that baby when they first got together, like it was something where, you know, he was messing around with somebody before he got with her or either it happened like in their first year of their relationship. But he's just not finding out that the, the girl is exactly his. And he told the mom that the little girl can come stay with them. So, of course, Amy looking like, wait, 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 wait. We just not getting back together. I'm still not even 100% sure about you. And now you talking about some kid of yours coming to stay with us. Uh-uh. Now, mind you, Mozzie already got two other kids. He got a, a little girl and a little boy. So now that's three kids of his, I guess, three or four child. Um, I think it might be another one out there. I don't know. But she looking like, uh-uh, mm-mm. No, nah, I don't know about this, Bernie. And I don't I don't blame you. If that ain't a sign that, no, nah, keep it moving, it ain't meant for y'all to be back together, that's a sign, honey. And I'm now team mama with mama saying, "Mm -mm, no, I don't approve. So Jock goes back inside and Amy tells Mozzie, you know, your business and rap career don't even cover the rent. So how you going to be taking care of a whole kid on top of that? And I'm looking like, oh, wait a minute. So he still ain't pulling in no money like that. And you was going to take him back? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 Because that was part of the reason why y'all broke up the first time is because you were more of the breadwinner and you were the one that was more responsible. And you felt like you was basically taking care of everything. So you was literally about to repeat the same cycle all over again. Why? You know, and Mozzie, like, stop with the rapping. It ain't happening. Your clothing line, it was doing something, you know, for a moment, but let that go. Get you a job, sir, and stop. Please, just get you a job. Get you a little union job somewhere and be happy and sit down and have several. Because at some point, you got to be realistic. I mean, come on. Now, I don't know if his place on the show will continue. Maybe that can be his job. I don't know. I actually like Mozzie. Mozzie is hilariously funny. I would like to see him on the show full time. But... If that's not going to be the case, then, sir, you need to figure it out. So now I understand fully well why things did not work out between them because they're not together right now. Thank God. So Mama D and Bambi meet up. Mama D wanted to meet up with Bam uh, to talk. Um... They get to talking and Bambi says that, you know, Lil Scrappy was late on paying bills. And Mama D was like, but he did pay though. He did pay though. It doesn't matter that he paid it. It's the fact that you need to be responsible enough to know when bills are due and have yours ready. 
Like, how old are we? How old are we? Like, huh? So they get to arguing about her not having a degree. And the man pulls out her degree and hands it to Mama D. Mama D then rips it up saying that it's fake. It's not real. So the bam get up and raise her hand at her time. So I should slap you and all of that. And I felt like that was unnecessary because you weren't going to hit her. I understand you might want to hit her, but you weren't going to hit her. And that was just going to make the situation 10 times worse. If she would have, you know, I don't think that it was that deep. Now you could tell that route mama D up. Mama D was a little scared and concerned. Like she was shaking. She was shaking and not stirred, okay? She was, she was, she was shook. She was shook after that. <laughs> Baby, she ain't know what to do with herself, child. She like, I'm too old to be fighting now. So they get them to calm down. Mama D steady saying that the diploma was fake. The man was like, you should have stood as a woman, you know, because you don't know what goes on in our household at the end of the day. And you know how men are and you know how your son is. Like, so... Why are you steady going against me? Like I've done something. Now, I agree with what Bambi was saying, um, that Mama D as a woman should have taken a step back and looked at it in a different view. But at the same time, I need for Bambi to understand that she's not innocent and that she's done stuff too. They both were the cause of the demise of this relationship, you know? So, Mama D at this point is tired. She don't want to talk no more. And she was like on the way out. She says, I see why he always loved Erica. Like see stuff like that. Just so unnecessary. Just so unnecessary. And the band was like, okay, that's why I'll see you in court. Period. And so I'm at the point now where, hey, she got to do what she got to do. You can't continue to go online and slander this woman's name and say stuff about her, whether it's true or not. Like, what is the point? Like, you're not a kid. Like, grow up. You're somebody's mima. You are 60 years old. Act like it. Grow up. And then she took it even further after the episode, went online and doubled down about the fact that um, Bambi was lying about um, having the college diploma. I guess like what does it matter like how is that affecting your life at all we know you ain't got no college degree <laughs> a college degree in pimpology but other than that like why are you so concerned but this is what mama d does to all of his girlfriends it's weird grow up Ugh. huh i'm gonna give this week's episode of love and hip-hop atlanta Mm, I'm going to give this week's episode a B, B, B plus. It was a good episode. Yeah, I liked it. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about the episode down below in the comment section. Make sure to thumbs up this video, like, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell button. I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.